More Gaza hostages were freed on Wednesday. Israel said the temporary truce with Hamas militant group will continue as mediation efforts continue. Ten Israeli hostages arrived in Israel, among them five women, three children and two 18-year-old men. Another four Thai hostages were also released along with two women holding dual Russian and Israeli citizenship outside the terms of the deal. The release of the two women was described by Hamas as in recognition of the efforts of Russian President Vladimir Putin. In return, according to Qatari Foreign Minister, Israel released 30 Palestinians, 14 women and 16 minors. Alongside emotional reunions, there were fresh reminders of the tragic stakes of the conflict. Now, Israel's army stated that it was probing a report by Hamas that a 10-month-old baby hostage, his four-year-old brother and their mother, all had been killed in bombing in Gaza. In a statement, it said it is assessing the accuracy of the information with tensions high. The Palestinian Health Ministry in the West Bank stated that the Israeli army had shot and killed an 8-year-old boy and a teenager. The military said troops had responded with live fire after explosive devices had been hurled at them. The World Food Programme has warned Gaza's population faces a high risk of famine if the humanitarian organization is not able to provide continued access to food. The spokesman for the Hamas-run territory's health ministry said doctors found five premature babies dead in Gaza City's Al Nasser Hospital. According to the United Nations, an estimated 1.7 million Palestinians in Gaza have been forced to leave their homes so far, more than half the territory's population, that is. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.